Hey guys, Max Selfie Queen here, and welcome back to some more Life is Strange Before the Storm. So, last episode we left off, we are in the junkyard now trying to fix up the truck. Uh, but I figured we have a couple pages here, why not read them? I feel like we're getting closer to the end, so I want to keep up with our pages here. Max, when you think about it, it's kind of amazing that anyone ever trusts anybody about anything. Take the stars, for example. We learn all these things about them in school, but no one bothers to tell us the most important fact of all. Some of them are dead. Yet, somehow Rachel trusts me with the most important thing in, the, in her world, finding her real mom. She didn't ask me right away. At first, she didn't even want to talk. It was kind of like the junkyard a couple days ago, but this time, I didn't freak out on her. I gave her space. Here's something you never learned. Max, when someone you care about is hurting, you do anything you can to be there for her, even if that means making the stars shine in her bedroom. That's how I got Rachel to open up and ask me about finding her mom. I think my confidence surprised her, but if Rachel wants to find her mom, then I'm making it happen. Chloe, conjurer of stars. And then the little thing over here says, before you can see the light, you have to deal with the darkness. And then one more page here, last one. I think I want a tattoo. Yeah, I know it's permanent, right? But that's the thing though, it's not. Not really, because we're not permanent at all. Funny how much simpler life seems when you keep that in mind. Like my hair. I wanted to see what it would look like blue, so I did. It looks awesome. One day I'll make it all blue, and if I don't like it, then so what? It'll all fall out eventually, so see how that works? You know what else isn't permanent? David. The guy searched my room when I was away, and then gave the world's lamest apology. He tried to connect with me about his dead friend, which I shut down. No mercy for tyrants. Eventually, I got out of there and headed to the garage, which David is transforming into his own personal cave. At least I got what I came for, Dad's toolbox. I bet he would have liked the idea of me using his tools to fix the ride. Off to the junkyard to see if I can get that truck working. I know it's far from permanent, but here's a hoping that Beast has a little more life in it. Chloe, the impermanent marker. Okay. And I believe, yes, we already read the message from Mom here last episode. I just had to load back in. Uh, okay, so we need to check some stuff, I guess. <laughs> I'm not sure what to do. I don't know nothing about vehicles. Pretty gross. I need something small to scrape the gunk off the cap. It's pretty loose. How can I tighten it? This thing is going to the f up. I'm just going to check like everything. I to patch this thing up sometime before I was born. And then we'll At go from point, there. I think that ancient duct tape is better than anything I can do. Better leave it be. First, we got to get our graffiti spot here. Maybe. Sick. Like actual sickness, because that was pretty gross. <laughs> Don't know if anybody's used that method before. There is our graffiti spot. Hmm. What do I see? Honestly, that looks really weird, and I don't know what you see, but we did see a raven near our dad a lot, so uh, let's go with that. <laughs> and you know, I just noticed our outfit is pretty perfect, because we're technically fixing up a car like a mechanic would do, and we're wearing a somewhat mechanic-looking jacket with the, uh, the name tag on it and everything. <laughs> oh, there we go. Nice. We got our next graffiti tag here. The raven. I think the line would look cool as well, but the raven's cool too. Okay, so we need 
We use the wrench on this, I guess. I mean, we got it in our hands. Might as well use it. <sighs> Much better. Now we need to use the wrench on this. Nothing doing. Ah, okay. This connection is pretty shaky. I could fix this battery post if I could get a good enough grip on it. This thing seems pretty gunked up. I think I should move on to something else. Not helping. Okay, we've done everything we need to do to do with the um the little wrench thing that she had in her hand. Now let's use the pliers. I'm pretty sure we can use them on the battery thing. There. Fits like a deadly electric glove. Nope. Not gonna help. Oh. Screwdriver. That should do it. <laughs> Will it work or will it not? Let us find out. That should help keep distributed. Okay, I guess it worked. <laughs> well, or not. Um, air quality health advisory. Arcadia Bay Forest Watch. Arcadia Bay, Oregon. Sunday, May 9th. Culmination State Park fire remains active. Moderate to heavy smoke expected. Limit outdoor activity. Well, that's not going to work for us because we're in the junkyard right now. Back from whence you came. Okay, I think we fixed it up pretty well. Spark plugs busted. Carbon deposits. Of course. We're really going there, huh? Oh, she didn't want to touch this car. I guess she changed her mind. I mean, honestly, to me too, I kind of think of it as it's helping us, in a way. You know, our dad Please. is helping us. I need you. Looks like we got it going. Yeah. Yes, and that's the best thing to do whenever you fix a vehicle. Is just take off in it full speed. <laughs> I mean, at least that way we're going to know if it works good or not. Because <laughs> if it totally breaks down right now, then you know it's not fixed. <laughs> I guess it works fine. Can I clean your hands off now? Hey! Junkyard queen! Where are you at? Rachel changed clothes too. Yeah, she looks good. Hey, who are you talking to? Holy sh Your hair. It's so... Blue. I was gonna say hot. But, yeah. Too. That shirt looks awesome too. I might add. You like anything that starts fire. Hey, not sure if you saw, but someone moved your truck. No way. 
Should we check it out? Hey, Price. Nice wheels. You're early, Frank. What's the occasion? It's his bar mitzvah. Frank here's becoming a man. Aren't you, big guy? What's he doing here? What do you think? We're not dealing with a couple of dime bags anymore, Chloe. Where's the money? Seriously, Frank? If you think I would pocket a thousand bucks of your money, you're even dumber than you look. I don't think she has it. Oh? It's cute how she acts like you two are friends. You heard what happened to Drew, right? Maybe try keeping that in mind when you talk to me. Don't touch her. Why is it? that chicks think it's okay to hit me. But if I lay a single finger on them, suddenly, it's a whole other thing. Frank says you were asking about a client of his. Is that true? No. I, I was just asking for some help. It's not a big deal. No. Maybe I'll make it one. See, you two Nancy Drews decided it would be a good idea to call your drug dealer and ask about his business. I didn't go to a fancy academy. But that doesn't strike me as smart. Maybe it was this man's sunny disposition that confused you. But he's got a whole other side to him that I don't think you'd like. Should we let them see it? We're just talking here. <sighs> okay, then let's talk. I want to know right now why you give a about this woman. Why do you care so much? Because you. I'm asking the questions here. Look, none of this matters. All we care about is that you stop asking questions. Got it? No. Tell me where she is now. Rachel. Wait a minute. <laughs> no way. What the f is your problem? Rachel? As in, Rachel Amber? <laughs> that makes so much sense. This is James Amber's kid. Damon, your dad's a real piece of you know. We're aware. Not sure what that has to do with us. Me neither. But I'd like to find out. Here's what happens next. Come on, man. They're just kids. No, they're not. This one is the DA's daughter. And right now, she's going to fill me in on what her daddy is up to and how he's connected to that everyone's asking about. Damon, calm down. We're still talking. Everything's still cool. No need to get crazy. Uh, ah! uh, 
Okay, well, a whole lot happened there. Rachel had to stick her nose into things and hit people with his stuff, but you know what? Okay. Good honor. Sticking up for me. Appreciate it. Although it got you stabbed, girl. Now we gotta go to the hospital. I mean, it did just stab her in the arm, though. She seemed to be all right. He kind of lost a little bit of blood. But at least he didn't go right for her stomach. Right? Up oh, here comes Dad. And the police are involved now? Oh, no, we've really done it. Firemen? Why are there firemen here? Oh yeah, because of the fire thing, yeah. Oh my gosh, how long does it take to freaking bandage up her arm? Is it not her arm? Rachel is going to be alright. The knife damaged her brachial artery, but didn't cut it. She's out of surgery, and now she's resting. Chloe, what happened? Okay, I guess it wasn't her arm. It's my fault. I should have listened to you. Sarah's mixed up somehow with this psycho demon Merrick. I know exactly who Damon Merrick is. Start over and tell me everything. Did you and Rachel try to contact Sarah? I'm not going to chastise or blame you, Chloe, but I need the whole story. So, I got my dealer to meet us since he knows Sarah. Frank Bauer. Yeah, that's right. But Damon showed up with him. What did Merrick want? I, I think he wanted to scare us so he'd stop asking questions about his business. Is that how it became violent? It was, it was actually Rachel who got angry. She was furious that he wouldn't tell her where Sarah was. This is exactly what I've been afraid of. Rachel won't let anything stop her. If you let her meet Sarah in the first place, we wouldn't have had to try something more desperate. There are many things I wish I'd handled differently. What happened next? Damon had a knife out. We all could see it. But then he said something that Rachel off. And she just grabbed a piece of wood and hit him. 
and then he stabbed her. I keep thinking that maybe I could have done something, but when he attacked her, I just froze. It's not your fault. And Frank held him off so we could get to the truck. I heard a scream, but I don't know what happened. And then we were here. I appreciate you telling me the truth. I'll see if I can pull some strings with Ray. Maybe get you back into Blackwell. What if Rachel still wants to meet Sarah? After all this? I'm hoping she'll finally see reason. I was told that if Rachel had arrived only a few minutes later, she might not have... Um... Thank you, Chloe. You saved my world. It will be some time before Rachel wakes up. I promise I'll let you know when she does. Okay. Thanks. What is Steph doing here? That's weird. <laughs> hey. Steph. How's Drew? Pretty good. Miss Amber just told me Rachel's going to be okay. I'm really glad. Yeah. Well, our room's just down the hall. You should come by. Okay. Sure. Definitely. All right, be there in a minute. Got some things to do first. Oh, I was like, who is that? I don't think I can <laughs> sit still any longer. Might as well stretch my legs while I wait for Rachel to wake up. It's probably Drew's dad. Come on. <laughs> Not that I have any coins anyway. Oh, man. Jackpot. more of those. Okay. Interesting. Pretty sure the hospital nutritionists meet here after hours and pig out. Well, where is it? Supposed to be a graffiti thing here. I know there's one over here. Oh, come on! Oh. I know those guys. Uh, this doesn't look like the maternity wing. Uh, there's a sign for the prenatal class. I can't believe we're finally doing this. I'm so excited. <laughs> You're gonna be a good dad. <laughs> I guess I'm glad we stole their wine. Okay, what did I miss here? It says... Take the vending machine three times to get the candy bar. Interact with it once more, and Chloe will want to vandalize it. What's there to do around here? Oh! <laughs> I think this vending machine could be improved. Guess I had to walk away for a oh, second. Yeah. <laughs> I get it. Oh, I don't get to choose this one, she just does it on yes. her own. 
I'll need my forceps to extract this baby Ruth. Ew. Not a fan of that one, Chloe. This poster seems to be missing some context. What to draw, what to draw. Okay, nurses. The world wants to know. What's so funny? I mean, it's Chloe. Come on, we're not going to not do a dirty joke. <laughs> You laugh track. Haha, uh -huh, I get it. I get it. <laughs> okay, we're good. Good to go. Got all the graffiti spots done, and now we can just. Okay. You still around? We're in room 785, in case you forgot. Cool. Okay. Steph, I'm on my way. Just looking around first. And sitting on this child uh, pirate ship plaything. Being in a hospital <laughs> this long sucks. I just want Rachel to wake up and then I'll feel better. I owe Frank big time. Can't believe he did that for us. I hope he's okay. Not like I can do anything about it in one way or the other. And what about Damon? Is he gonna come after us? I actually feel better knowing that James Amber is on his case. Ugh, that's weird. Yeah, that's actually really weird, <laughs> considering all the stuff that we've been saying about him. But you know, he really just wants what's best for his daughter. I've been trying to say this the whole time. No one understands. Okay, um, anything else? Frank's business must be booming. I really hope he's okay. There has been a recent increase in, in anesthesia complications from recreational drug, drug use. Please make it clear that patients, especially those in their teens, that if they take any drugs, they need to disclose them for their own safety. Yeah, definitely, definitely do that because that would be dangerous. One more hour of waiting, and I would have read that. Are these all firefighters? Yeah, you, you were kind of waiting here for a long time, Chloe. I wouldn't imagine if you read some, some little magazines in your spare time. Due to the increased volume of patients suffering from heat exhaustion or smoke inhalation, we have made several additional recovery rooms available. Okay, the fire stuff is really, brought so many really disturbing now. And not a single one described how I felt. It's so weird that this fire thing is just so out of control and nobody can do anything about it. Can I talk to you? No? Okay. Well, I'm just going to go back this way then if, you know, if you don't have anything Guess to say. the citizens of Arcadia Bay aren't feeling so generous. Donations. The fire department needs your donations. Um, cool. I mean, I would, but you know. I wonder if Damon Merrick classifies as a biohazard. He's definitely human waste. Chloe's not one to donate her hard-earned money. Sean Prescott. What's he writing to the hospital about? Is this for real? One of your current patients is Andrew North, a student at Blackwell Academy who was injured on school grounds. As the physical safety of the students is a core responsibility of any school, Blackwell has failed Mr. North in this instance. I would, I would therefore like to personally and I stress anonymously cover his medical expenses. If I may be of assistance in speeding the process, do not hesitate to contact me. Really? What does he have to do with all of this? Okay, and that must be his dad. It said he was in room 785. Is this Drew's room? Yes, it is. Is that Mikey and Drew's dad? 
I wonder how he's doing. All right, then. Thank you. Hi. Mr. North? That's me. And you are? I'm Chloe. You here to see Drew? Yeah. How are, uh, how are things going? Oh, you know how it is. Ups and downs. You know, Drew's hurt, of course. But, uh, I'm between jobs, so got plenty of time to visit. You know? Yeah. Hold on. You said you were Chloe. Mikey's mentioned you a few times now. I have a question maybe you can answer. Sh sure. Both of those boys have been acting a little, well, guilty lately. Yeah, I've, I've been spending most of my time looking for work. I'm worried I missed something important. Do you know if anything's going on with them? Uh, no. Sorry. This weekend was actually the first time I really hung out with them. That's all right. I appreciate that you've been keeping my boys company. Drew's got so many hopes for himself riding on their knee. It seems like he's been even more driven lately. I think my work situation's disappointed him. Both of them. Actually, in different ways. Uh, sorry I'm laying all this on you. I've been trying to keep it light in there. That's okay. Uh, nice of you to listen. Do me a favor. Don't worry either of them with... Oh, excuse me. Okay. Wait for Rachel. Oh, that's all I'm supposed to do is just wait for Rachel? If I want to stay sane, I need to stay busy. What's there to do around here? I don't want to go too far, though, because I definitely, definitely hey. want... Just heard the fire went out. Those went out. guys look exhausted. You mean it's controlled? No, it's completely out. It extinguished itself. How could that be? Oh, okay. Well, the fire's out. It's fine. We're fine now. I don't want to walk too far down, though, because I'm afraid that it would, like, trigger something, some cutscene or something. So let's just go into Drew's room here, because I know there is a graffiti spot in here as well. Hey! You made it. Oh. Hey, Chloe. Hey, Drew. So, what have you been doing all day? Um, not much. Homework. Hanging out with my dad. Dealing with the dumb jokes about the plate in my leg. Sorry to hear it. It's, it's all good. <laughs> Love the hair, by the way. Pretty cool. I figured it might fit with my new barbarian look. You know, a war paint. Awesome. Nerds. Hey, any news about Rachel? Her mom seemed hopeful. Rachel's stable. She'll probably wake up soon. How'd she get hurt? You'll think I'm joking when I tell you, but I'm not. What? happened she got stabbed in the arm by demon Merrick seriously it, it wasn't because of me was it oh so it was the arm okay I was like what is a brachial artery no somehow we've got our own with him now that's crazy. Guy. I wish I could get my hands on him. Drew, chill out, okay? Uh, 
I'm headed out. Everything okay in here? Yep. Yeah. Don't have too much money now. Try to keep it appropriate for the hospital. Bye, Dad. See ya, Pops. Man. Maybe... I shouldn't have mentioned Damon. Rachel's gonna be up soon. Should probably head over when I'm ready. I literally was about to look it up. I'm like, what is a brachial artery? Is that the arm or no? Ooh, I want to eat that. Right now. Apparently it was the arm. <laughs> Those must be from Steph's parents. All right, Mr. Drew, sir. I want your pudding. Hey. Sorry for losing it there. It's nice of you to come by. Yeah, no problem. Easier than you coming to me. <laughs> you know what? I'm kind of tired. Oh. Oh, right, right. I'll, um, I'll leave you alone. Uh, what do you think you're doing? Uh, y you don't want that pudding, right? Uh, I'll take it off your hands for you. Over my dead body. Wonder if a little friendly competition will cheer Drew up. Let's see if I can convince Drew that I need the pudding more than he does. Yes, I know. We've done Good this before. Good thing we're in a hospital. <laughs> Because they'll know exactly what to do with your corpse. Oh. You don't scare me, Chloe Price. Know what's scary? The they put in cafeteria pudding. Animal connective tissue causes cancer. Doesn't matter. I'm going to eat this pudding and there's nothing you can do about it. Uh, I get it. You eat your feelings. Whatever stops the tears, man. If you love pudding as much as I do, you might understand. What if I throw in this, uh, token of goodwill? I love these. How'd you know? Uh, she's got ways. Still a no. Don't be a sore loser. Takes one to know one. Huh? I heard about last year's state championship. <laughs> oh, sports ball burn. She's not gonna quit, is she? Okay. I give in. We can share it. <laughs> All right. But don't get used to it. <laughs> Sucker. <laughs> okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Why are you even in my room? Mm, so good. Mm -hmm. You're eating the whole thing. You didn't even save it. <laughs> Mission accomplished. Hey, can I sign your cast? Go for it. Hmm, something encouraging. But not too encouraging. I mean, what's more encouraging than you owing me one? <laughs> there you go. Girl, you already ate it. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Anytime. Okay. Now we only have two more and we are done with all of them. Yes. I'm so glad we're almost done with these.
The next one won't be until we get into, uh, whatchamacallit, dad's, Rachel's dad's office. I wonder if Drew will ever play again. Sorry to hear about your leg. We're really going to miss your talent and leadership out on the field for the duration of your recovery. Rest up and let me know if you need anything. Look at that. Wells being nice for a change. I would like to express my deepest condolences for your injuries. I strive to make Blackwell a safe and welcome place for all students. I realize now that in many ways I have failed to do that. Of course you have, sir. Well, could have been better, I guess. I think the football team needs thicker helmets. Yep. Definitely too many concussions. Weird. <laughs> You're pretty scary, Chloe. In a good way. In the best way. It's nice that Mikey and Steph seem to be staying here all day. That's it? You're pretty scary, Chloe. In a good way. In the best way. Wow, you guys are so talkative today. That'll be an interesting read. Bio homework. Are you still taking the exam on Monday? Multiple choice, free response. If you're feeling up to it, I'm working on a piece about certain recreational activities around Blackwell. Maybe you can answer some questions for me, Juliet. Pretty sure that's Drew's backpack. <gasps> no. Don't make me do this again. Stop. Oh my gosh. You owe me big time for that pudding. Really? And now you're going to say that too? You're really making me feel bad here, bro. You really are making me feel bad. Ugh. An 8 out of 10. Jeez, that must be some pretty bad pain. Uh, I hate to do it, but we got to go. Right. Sorry, bro. I'm going to head out. It was really great to see you, Chloe. Agreed. Don't be a stranger, okay? Next time, you better bring me a snack. Next time, for sure. Hey, I offered candy. Oh. You didn't want it. Yeah? Tell Rachel we're rooting for her. You bet. As long as there's no consequences for that, then I guess I'll be fine. But still... <laughs> Chloe, this is Mr. Amber. Rachel is just waking up now. I'm sure she'd love to see you. Thanks. <gasps> Yay! Rachel's awake. Mosey on down. Everything about this fire has been atypical. <laughs> no kidding. Are you sure you heard right? Wildfires don't extinguish themselves. I'm just glad we don't have to go back out there. Unless you get stabbed. Okay. So basically, they're just trying to tell me, you know, the fire is out. Hello, mother. Hi. Rachel's mother. Slash not mother. Fake mother. <laughs> Chloe, I can't even express thank you so much. I'm sorry. I'm a wreck. I stepped out to get some air. Rachel doesn't need me crying in front of her. Your hair. I almost didn't notice it. Oh. Yeah. It's... It's not a big deal. I bet Rachel loves it. I can't imagine what I would do if we lost her. I'm sure everything's going to be fine. That's what James keeps saying. He's so strong in a crisis, you know? M my dad was like that. I'm sure he was. Just like his daughter. I don't know about that. You saved her, didn't you? When everything happened, I just... I froze up. That you were there for her when she needed you. That's what matters. I am so glad you and Rachel have found each other. When you meet someone who changes everything, 
huge yes and no. Well, hang in there, Mrs. Amber. I will. One thing about this game that I've found that is just a little bit weird is that the subtitles were not thought out very well. <laughs> Why has my son been assigned to you? I never authorized that he be seen by you. I was assigned because Nathan was becoming quite upset. So they sent a psychiatrist because my son was upset. Holy Please. What Mr. was Preston, that about? Your son needs serious psychiatric... My son needs nothing from you. He put down a couple of bullies who were her... I'm so relieved that Rachel's awake. That I should see her right away. Sir, I believe your son is manifesting serious and alarming symptoms. Allow me the chance to... Nathan's already getting more than enough attention from one of you. I am fed up with these made-up problems. I really regret overhearing that. Okay. Interesting. I mean, that obviously leads into the first game Rachel's probably where, you know, Nathan's had some serious issues going on. We all made him the bad guy, but he really, he had some serious stuff going on. Dad. I'm Me glad too, that you're here. Rachel. It really hurts. Shh. The pain will pass. Chloe's here. You want me to stay? No. I'll be okay. Thanks, Dad. I'll come back in a little while. <laughs> My guardian angel. <laughs> I saw Steph earlier. She says, hey. Steph's so cute, but not as cute as you. Stop. I mean it. Rachel, I'm sorry. What? What for? You're here because of me. Because I choked back there in the junkyard. What? Shut up. You were so fierce and I just, I just froze. God, I f***ed up. I'm so sorry. And, and you saved my life. You saved my life. Just don't... Do that again. Play the damsel in distress? <laughs> you got it. No. Attack a psycho with a two by four. That was crazy. News flash, Chloe. I'm a little crazy. <sighs> crazy awesome. Happy that your dad's here. I mean... I'm still mad at him for everything he's done, but it felt so good to lean on him. He's my dad, you know? I felt completely safe. Like on Mount Hood. Would you do something for me? Anything. Sarah. And Mom. <laughs> it's so weird to say. 
I'm not even sure what she is, honestly. But... <laughs> I think I still want to meet her. I figured you would. Really? Even after all this? I don't even know if she's still want to meet her? Katie Bay. But if she is, will you find her, please? You really want this, don't you? I do, Chloe. I really do. Then, of course, whatever it takes. Okay, I guess that line didn't come out. <laughs> the code is 0722. To your... Your dad's office? 0722. Yeah. My birthday. I'll find her, Rachel. And then I'll... I'll tell her how... You are. Thank you, Chloe. For everything. Okay, good night. They didn't give you no covers, though. You know, blankets or nothing? Want me to get you some? No, she's fine. Elliot? Hey! Wait. Your hair, it's different. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. I like it. It's, uh, it's nice. I like your shirt, too. I didn't know you were into dragons. Who the f isn't into dragons? A uh, nice balloon. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> yeah, it's for Drew. Were you, were you just in there? I'm actually here for Rachel. What? Rachel's here? What happened? Uh, she got stabbed by a psycho. Oh my god. Yeah. It was insane. Holy sh! But are, are you okay? I mean, I'm probably not okay, but I can deal with that later. Are you, are you two in some kind of trouble? You can tell me if you are. You know, I won't judge. What? I don't even know what you mean. Come on. A random psycho going around stabbing people? For no reason? Well, that's what happened. Chloe. I'm seriously worried about you. Well, don't be. Uh, I mean... You're hanging out with Rachel Amber a lot lately, right? So what? So, obviously something is going on. I swear, man, everything's really okay. Okay. I trust you. 
Just remember I'm here, okay? If you suddenly need something. Thanks. Oh. Hey, I, uh, I almost forgot. Did you, like, write on my whiteboard? <laughs> I totally did, didn't I? Yeah. I was, uh, pretty sure that was your handwriting. What did I write? You wrote me a poem? Emotional, loyal, etc. Ended with, uh, talented? Oh. Well, uh, you are pretty talented, man. <sighs> Thanks. Anyway, see you around. Yeah. See you around, Chloe. Yeah, that wasn't awkward or nothing. <laughs> Everybody seems to really like my outfit choice. <laughs> it was just a random one and I just picked. I thought it would look pretty cool. Now everybody likes it. I'm into it. Okay, so now we are going back to Rachel's house because we have to go sneak into her dad's office, of course, and do something. Hopefully Hello? I don't forget that the code is 0722, which I probably will forget. <laughs> because I need to end off the episode, and I won't probably remember by the next one. Oh, never mind. She disarmed it. She knows the code. We're good. <laughs> I didn't have to remember it. Okay, here we are. I need to search this office for any communication with Sarah that can help me find her. Okay, so we have a couple more pages here. I'm going to go ahead and read through them and then we'll end off because we are almost an hour in, but I do want to get these done so we can get right into it on the next episode. Uh, you ever notice how people in hospitals are always whispering? I think it's because hearing your own, our own voices makes everything feel much more real. Somehow, like, writing it down. Weird how only a few hours ago, I was the one bringing something broken back to life. I almost can't believe I was able to fix up the truck. I took it for a joyride around the junkyard before Rachel showed up. We chatted for a bit, and then it got crazy. And by crazy, I mean Damon Merrick, the psychopath who's super interested in Rachel's bio mom and dad for some reason. He and Frank arrived demanding to know what we were doing. Before we could find out why, he pulled a knife and stabbed Rachel. I might have been able to stop him if I acted quicker, but I just froze if it weren't for Frank. A blazing car ride later and I'm here at the hospital, wishing I could make myself believe this isn't really real. Chloe the much too real. P.S. I hope Frank's okay. And then the last one is... I don't think you can know how you feel about someone until you almost lose them. Until you sit in a hospital waiting room, frozen in place, yet somehow falling, silently, desperately pleading to hear their voice, touch their hand, and make them laugh. Then you know, it was weird being with Rachel's dad, and actually kind of nice. We were on the same team suddenly, and none of the other crops mattered. I think I can see why Rachel loves him. Gotta check on Drew, spend some time with him and Mikey. I even cheered up Drew by stealing his pudding. Win-win. After what felt like forever, Rachel woke up. Even with everything that's happened, she's still focusing on finding her mother. So I am too. Here's the plan. I'm going to dig around James's office and find whatever I can about her and track her down so they can meet. I don't care how tough it might be. Chloe the Bounty Hunter. Okay, so that's going to do it for this episode, you guys. I hope you enjoyed. And possibly the next episode could be the last one. Um, but we'll see. I know we're getting close to the end. But that's going to do it for me. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you in the next one.